The NBS Nightly News with Kathy Shaneline, Wayne Amon, and Fred Matthews. Good evening. Palestine Liberation Organization source says a PLO team is negotiating with Iranian authorities in an effort to win the release of hostages at the U.S. Embassy in Tehran. Well, it was a good-looking day outside. Uh, the snow was a bit of a surprise to you, but it is one of the reasons why making anything more than a 24-hour forecast up here is so difficult. Uh, but the weather still won't get too harsh this weekend, and the kids should have a nice day in the snow tomorrow. The forecast is upcoming. Right now, let's take a look at stateside conditions and temperatures. A storm system is moving northeastward toward the Ohio Valley, spreading snow over the upper Midwest, thunderstorms in the south. Dreary times are moving into Europe. Amsterdam recorded rain in 49 degrees. Copenhagen rain 45. Dublin rain 50. Glasgow rain 39. Uh, London drizzle 45. Munich overcast rain, oh my goodness, 49 degrees. Oslo fog 30 degrees. And Paris mostly cloudy 49. The map tells us the story around the country today of a weak, low-pressure system that uh, sneaked up on us from the southwest of Keplavik uh, overnight and brought with it the snow and snow pellets we suffer today. Because of the accompanying winds, it is not uh, in any hurry to pass over us today. The temperatures around the area reflected that fact. Quitibaki had overcast skies, heavy snow, 21 degrees. Uh, Selfoss had snow showers, 31 degrees. At Currently, there is a thunderstorm watch in effect until 8 p.m. tonight. And no, you won't see, see or hear any thunder or lightning around here. I'll tell you more about that on Monday. And uh, the winds are from the west, northwest at about 5 knots. The current temperature is 32 degrees. Uh, it should be a nice evening for everyone. Try and have a good weekend. And remember, the kids are going to be out playing tomorrow in the snow. And by the way, have you hugged them lately? It might make them feel good. Here's Kathy with more news. This is the film library. Through here pass the programs that inform and entertain you each day of every week throughout the year. Each film and videotape is cleaned and checked before you see them in hopes that we can bring you the best product possible. From the films of yesterday to the most up-to-date color programs, all for you, FEN Philippines, because serving you is our pleasure. The Far East Network, Philippines. Uh, talked about all of the paperwork that's involved uh, in preparing for pack out, as we call it here on the area. And we've come to the house of Steve and Janice Bowen, who so graciously lent us their quarters this day on their most frustrating day any of us can have, pack out. Thank you again, uh, Steve and Janice. John has accompanied me here. And we're going to talk about some of the things that you should remember, the carrier's responsibility as well as your responsibilities and when you make that big move. Now, John, things to remember. First thing that uh, we're all concerned about, and I'm sure Janice and Steve are concerned about, is uh, uh, authorized items and non-authorized items. Tell us a bit about that. It would be much easier to uh, tell you about the non-authorized item. The American Embassy in Iceland, passports, visas, stranded tourists, the ambassador's residence, and diplomatic immunity. These are just some of the words that comes to mind when one thinks about the embassy in Iceland. Let's have a look inside our American embassy here in Reykjavik and see exactly what goes on. In embassies around the world, the ambassadors may change and personnel are different, but a constant in all of them is the Marine Guard station usually in the building. But who are these Marines we hear from only occasionally? Aren't they a part of the Keflavik Marine Barracks? Well, for the answers to these questions and others, we turn to Sergeant Gary L. Dixon, NCOIC of the Marine Security Detachment, here at the American...
Good evening. You know, there aren't many days when we here at Buffalo can all get together and enjoy ourselves. So two of our reporters, Russ Dressing and Jim Munhollen, along with action cameraman Dave Struvel, went out yesterday and took a look at 4th of July on Keflavik. Okay, here we are standing outside the commissary in anticipation of a flyover by the squadron, uh, well, not a squadron, but a chapter squadron. It should be happening pretty soon. And uh, in addition to some fireworks displays we're hoping to see here. We're here behind the Viking Mall in expectation of the fireworks display. And we do have a rather impressive crowd here in light of the weather. And they're setting up right now. We've had a few fireworks. We haven't missed much. We'll be showing you most of it. And right now they're getting uh, what looks like a rather impressive display of fireworks out there. And yeah, it's going to be going downwind to the right. All the flares and whatever that shoots off. All right, here it is. Because I've been around for so many years. So many years. About what? 203 years, I believe it is. Today. That's 203 years today, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. No face, uh, no wrinkles on the old face here. I don't, how do you do that? I don't know, but I, I, as soon as I find out, I'll let you know, there, Jim. Uh, well, yes. Uh, in the event that you're going down the parade route and uh, you go down in another way, <laughs> what would you? How, how would you correct that? How, what would you do in an emergency like that? Uh, pray. Okay, here you go, folks. Everyone. I'm here at uh, Hangar 885 in a place called Keflavik Downs. We're going to talk with John Groover for a moment uh, from Public Works. Is that right? Yes, it is. Okay, and uh, this is, is this, who sponsors this booth? This is Public Works. We're working for the CB Ball. The CB Ball, and uh, when will that be occurring? That'll be March of next year. Okay, the object of the game is, uh, so to speak, to uh, place your bet on your horse, right? Yes, uh, we have matching colors here with balls up here. When we uh, have all our bets placed, we turn them loose. The first one down is a winner, and you can make 75 cent profit. For every, for every quarter you put down? Yes, sir. I'm going to take a chance. Uh, let's see. Gray. It's my favorite color. Why not? Okay, just a minute. A little busy here. Okay, let's place our bets. Place our bets. All bets are down and final. All bets are down and final. Move your hands back. And they're up. All right. Come on, Gray. I don't think I'm going to win. <laughs> well, Guess what? Okay. We can't all be winners, folks. Anyway, it was Dave's quarter. From Hangar 885, the 4th of July. Have a good day. And this long line we have here is all in anticipation of Lumpia from the Phil Am Society. It's fairly famous here on base. And I was wondering, do you think it's going to be worth the wait? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You've had it before. It's worth it. When did you have it before? Uh, before I went it, the other um Carnival. Oh, at the PTO Carnival? Yeah. And we finally got to the end of the line here, and this is the Phil Am Society's Lumpia booth, and this is Tony Sorcina, and you look like you're going to last it out? Yeah, we'll last. We got enough uh, for everybody. Did you expect this many people, this kind of patronage? Yeah, it's always been like this every year since I arrived here in, in 1976. People really go for Lumpia, eh? I really go for the Lumpia and the Pansy. Um, Tell me, how many... Um, how many people do you figure were, you will be serving, and how much food do you have back there? Oh, we got enough for uh, about a thousand people over here, but uh, uh, it's expected uh, we have about uh, 4,000 cases of lumpia. Okay, I hope it lasts. I hope everybody gets some lumpia. Thank you very much. Sensation Voyage. Ah, yes. Brooklyn Dreams and Donna Summer. The Blue. 
Premiere of Different Strokes at 7 p.m. Midnight Special at 11.50, Friday night on NBS TV 4. This is Radio Dawn 79. Keep those pledges coming. In a vocal challenge to the rest of the base to support Navy relief, we present the Marine Choir live from the Marine Barracks, Keflavik, Iceland. The Air Force Aid Society can do more with your assistance. Roll, yeah, roll, roll your boat uh, gently down the stream. Up there. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Is that it? <laughs> oh, sing it again. Sing it again. Every time I help you. We take care of that. Sure. Hey, okay. I've got some more to put on that. Vincent? Vincent. Vincent. Yeah. In my alphabet. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> merely, merely, merely. Life is but a dream. Because you, you don't have it on, do you? Yeah. It's God. Lost it. <laughs> Take this job and shove it. I ain't working here no more. Make a commitment to caring. Well, Jim, Russ, and Dave, hope you had just as good a time as we did. Wishing America a happy birthday. Good night.